What's up everybody? Welcome back to a Geek's Garage. Today is an awesome day here at a Geek's Garage because today the engine is coming off the engine stand. This is a big milestone as far as I'm concerned uh, because in theory if I've done everything right it's not going back on the engine stand for a while. So what are we going to be doing today? Uh, we got to put the water housing on uh, which hasn't been possible while it's been on the engine stand and then we're going to be working on the uh, flywheel and clutch installation. Uh, so uh, really there's nothing else to say and this is just super exciting uh, be sure if you haven't already uh, be sure that you've subscribed to my channel so you can continue to see what's going on here uh, make sure you leave comments down below uh, but with that I really want to just get to going on this thing and get this thing moving Well, so much for jumping right in. I'm missing one of the shackles for attaching the engine to the hoist. So, off to the store to get one of those and we'll start up again in a little while. Okay, shackle in hand, we can get this thing back and going. So this is just a real quick video about the throwout bearing. Um, this is the old one that I've already taken out and it spins here and as you actually spin it you won't be able to see it but I can certainly feel it. Um, it's kind of jumpy um, and it's certainly not smooth uh, especially right in here. Uh, there's actually like almost a grinding feeling um, and this is what's uh, used for uh, pushing up against all the clutch fingers to um, engage and disengage the clutch. So this is the old one. I figure I'm in here. I might as well go ahead and swap it out. So there's the old one. And there's the new one. And again, the new one just runs much smoother. Now, um, the purists out there are going to say, uh, Mark, you're not putting an OEM one in. Uh, and you are 100% correct. Um, I'm putting in one... Uh, that came with the clutch kit, um, this one here, and uh, we're going to, I guess at this point, I'm going to go with, I'm hoping for the best. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because, uh, quite frankly, the car is starting to really total up, um, and I want to get the engine back in and see whether or not it's going to run, um, quite frankly, uh, before I start going through and doing a lot more. This is the clutch fork. I went through, cleaned it off. There is a metal ball receiver here, and there is a, a metal ball here. This um, I cleaned off as well, um, as well as in here, you want to get all the gunk out of there. The throwout bearing kit did come with some grease that I'm going to go ahead and put in there. It didn't come with a lot, which kind of sucks, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw a bunch of grease in here. The other place is going to be on both of, so, grease in there, a little bit of grease on here as well, just to make sure everything's really well 
lubed up, and then also on each of the uh, fork ends. And we're probably gonna run out of grease. We're gonna put a little bit of grease on here. We don't want a lot. At least everything in red says you don't want a lot. Line up the ball, and that's it. You've got your clutch back in with the throwout bearing in place. That's all there is to it. All right, well that's gonna do it. Uh, we got the engine off the stand. We got the water housing set up. We also got the uh, flywheel on. We got the clutch on. Um, we even went so far as to get the uh, clutch throwout bearing installed. So we are getting really close to being done with this engine and getting it back into the car. The only thing that's really left right now is a little bit of work to plumb up the coolant lines to the turbo. Uh, I think on the back side um, to the water housing and then this thing's ready to go in. So uh, with that, be sure you subscribe, like, share, please leave comments down below. I really appreciate those. And with that, see ya.